So what will we do? We'll multiply this one. We'll get zero minus eight, minus eight, minus 18, minus 26. We'll do cross multiply this and this row to get this one, okay? No, this row and this row to get the middle term, which is 14 plus 0 minus 20 minus 6. This row and this column 27 plus 32. 59 and we are left with last this one 146 725 983 we'll have to find this one also 2 minus 24 22 3 plus 16 19 it is 7 0 minus 4 minus 15 minus 19 21 plus 8 29 16 minus 9 minus 16 minus 9 minus 25 the middle one is 18 minus 12 6 so from here we'll again get it. We have to get that this one, okay? Twenty six minus twenty six minus eighty eight minus twenty six minus eighty eight plus one one four. This is zero. From here, we'll calculate the middle one. This is 19 into 7, 133. 6 into 2 is minus 12. 29 into 5 is what? So this will come out to be 0. 25 into 9 is minus 2 to 5. 6 into 8, 48. 59 into 3. 177. This will come out to be 0. So the trace is coming out to be somewhere 0, 0, 0. So what will happen? We have C. In C, we have trace coming out to be zero. Similarly, we'll be having C. C99 up to C, okay. So can we say that C plus C cube, C5 up to C9, T9 is equals to C, C50 minus 1 upon C minus 1. This is what we have. Or simply what can we do is that if we find C cube, Let's see what are coming here also, okay? Minus 26, minus 88. In this first row card run. Minus 19 plus 24. Minus 19 plus 20, minus 24. Plus... 29 into 6. This is what we are getting, okay? 
what can we say is that so if we know the trace of c is zero and trace of other c is also zero and trace of other c is also zero so trace of c cube will come out to be zero similarly trace of c5 will come out to be zero and this will continue up to trace of c99 will come out to be zero and if we'll, we will add everything we'll get trace equals to zero so this is the answer so we once found the trace of the middle term then that will help you to get this we don't require this formula this is simple